if you are tired of not seeing progress in the gym or not seeing progress with your eating habits and you do not have a lot of time this is the video for you whether you're a college student with a part-time job or you have a full-time job with kids whatever it is I don't have time to be in the kitchen all day and this is what I do on Sundays just to get it out the way and move on to my next Sunday self-care item. The first piece of protein that I'm meal prepping is my chicken thighs. I always, always, always start off with my protein and yes, I am seasoning it very, very well on both sides. You can add some olive oil to it also. I have been trying to chill on the olive oil because I have a very heavy hand, but I prefer to use chicken thighs rather than chicken breasts because the chicken breasts can just be super, super dry. Now, the key to not spending so much time in the kitchen is to make foods that you can have several different meals with. You do not have to eat the same foods every single day. Although it makes it a lot easier, you can switch it up, especially when you're doing a really like versatile protein like chicken thighs. So with this, I'm going to have this with cabbage, which my mom already cooked a cucumber salad which is literally just cucumber purple onion some lemon juice you can put some tahini in it whatever you want to make and then obviously some chicken tacos maybe that wasn't that obvious but yes chicken tacos my chicken with my cabbage and then my chicken with my cucumbers and that is what I like then I'm going to move along to my ground turkey. This is very, very lean ground turkey, which is usually what I opt for when I'm trying to lose some fat and build muscle because it doesn't have that much fat in it and it's the highest protein that you can get. I season my ground turkey always with taco seasoning and then I add some water so that it's not dry and it still has some juice in it. I'm just mashing it up with this little masher. I actually think this is for potatoes and not meat, but it works very well. And then as you can see, halfway through it being fully cooked, I add more taco seasoning. If you know, you know ground turkey is extremely hard to season and I do not want it to be dry. And then also to my chicken thighs, I added some lemon because I love all things lemon pepper. Like, I don't know why what's up with this obsession with lemon but when you're eating healthy anything that adds, adds flavor is just like 10 out of 10 so maybe that's what it is and then for my ground turkey half of it i'm using to make a ground um to make tacos so i can either do tacos with actual shells or if i'm trying to do something lower carb then i will use the lettuce boats which is super simple even if you don't want to do that you can just have ground turkey rice and vegetables very 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 versatile you can do so many things with ground turkey and then with the other half of the meat i'm going to make patties now i'm not just cooking for myself if you are just cooking for yourself you do not need to cook this much food you could probably just save half of it but for the other half i'm making turkey burgers because my brother really really likes burgers so we can have burgers throughout the week and then every time I make my meat I always add the juice to my meal prep bowls because once you warm it up that juice will allow it to not be dry either. So I have my chicken thighs all prepped and ready to go and then I have my ground turkey all prepped and ready to go and I'm putting it into my bowls. Now I used to separate this and meal prep it for the entire week but not only does that waste um, storage in the refrigerator but it'll be a day where let's say I prepped a ground turkey bowl and I don't want to eat that that day so it's kind of just like very wasteful. So now I just prep my protein and then each night when I come home from work I'll rinse out my bowl and then prep what I think I want to have the next day it saves so many dishes okay cleaning out the fridge on Sunday or however I used to do it was so messy and it was just too much work doing it this way has been so much easier and just saves a lot of time so right now I'm just cooking my turkey patties I let these really really sit so they can cook through because my turkey patties be a little thick like me and then I'm going to go ahead and prep my fruit I cut up all my fruit throughout the week that way I can just grab it and go and another little hack I've been doing is putting my cut up fruit in a little cup you know like the vendors do it if you're from LA then you know what I'm talking about you put it in a little cup put your lemon juice on top put your hot tahini on top look y'all I have to leave this in there look at them legs baby oh, I'm telling y'all that gym and eating right go and change your life I don't know what kind of melon this is either don't ask I just be picking up stuff that I want to try from the grocery store but I love melon so it was super super sweet and I loved it but I'm gonna cut up these melons and cantaloupe and then prep the next dish which is gonna be spring rolls love me some spring rolls <music> Come
back at six, wake me and your child And then won't lay today, make me wonder who you might have been playing with Makes me wonder who you think you're playing with I'm just a myself to keep playing this Make her back over and over again Sweat change, but I notice the end I want you on scene, think you know your words so funny to me So for my spring rolls, I don't have that many of like the spring roll aesthetic ingredients, but what I do have is cucumber, purple onion, and green onion. If you want it to be really cute and really nice and really good, if you have carrots, I will also add some carrots. Those are usually really good also inside your spring rolls. But for now, I'm just using what I have, chopping up all my ingredients. And then these are going to be shrimp spring rolls. So I'm going to peel my shrimp and then rinse it off with some vinegar and lemon juice. I don't think you'll ever change your way. Cause I have, it's not a home. I don't do too much to my shrimp, just add it to the pan. And then for this shrimp, I'm adding some ove and then some soy sauce. Um, I actually got the soy sauce from somebody on TikTok and I wanted to try it. I actually love soy sauce. A lot of people don't like it. They say it's bad for you, but I eat it every once in a while, okay? And then for my spring rolls, spring rolls is like such a fun food to make and eat, but you need a plate with water in it. And then dip your spring roll in it. It does not have to be completely soaked because when you put it down, the water is going to seep into the spring roll and then it's going to get really soft. And then I just put my lettuce and the tomatoes. This is the same lettuce that I'm going to use for my tacos. And then I roll it up. Whatever you want to show, put that side down first. So if you want your lettuce to show, put that down first. If you want your onion to show, put that down first. And then do a few rolls and then add your shrimp because we want the shrimp to be sticking out too and look nice and pretty. And then for the onion, I'm going to have it sticking out of the edge. So that's why I put it in there like that. I just love a cute food, okay? I tried to make the cute little peanut butter sauce for my spring rolls, but that was a miss. So I just have this teriyaki sauce that I put in my bowl, and I'm going to add a little bit of lemon juice, and that's what I'm going to have with my spring rolls. This is everything I meal prepped. This was all under an hour. You do not need to be in the kitchen that long to eat healthy. And we got our spring rolls for lunch. My mom actually made the cabbage, so that's, that's why I wasn't in this video. If you want more healthy, really good recipes, things that I eat to get that body right and tight, Click the link in my bio because I love to cook and y'all, listen, you do not have to be eating dry, nasty food in order to reach your fitness goals, period.